All right, everybody, welcome back to another video here on my channel of another VHS movie opening. The last two that I've done had no previews of any movies or anything like that. They just got straight into the movie. The next one is the 1995 VHS clamshell of Toy Story. The print date on this is from September 1996. The movie was released in November 1995. Never saw it in theaters, but I watched it. Um, I believe we bought it on VHS. I don't remember where from. I don't think we rented it from Blockbuster or any of the movie stores like Hollywood Video or anything else or West Coast Video. But, yeah, I saw this at a flea market. I know it's a little bit damaged and stuff, but I can probably get another one that's, like, in better condition. But still, Toy Story is one of my favorite Disney movies, probably in the top five for me. And... I did see another VHS tape, which was The Fox and the Hound, another one of my favorite Disney movies, but I don't have it yet. I mean, sometimes they can sell them for a little bit too much, but this one I think was only a dollar. I mean, they mostly are at flea markets. I mean, a lot of people don't really collect VHS tapes anymore, but there are people that do. So this one should have previews on it. If it doesn't, then I don't know why it would not, but we'll see. Let's get into this. Now, this is a movie starring uh, Tom Hanks and Tim Allen as the characters Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And other characters like Ham, Mr. Potato Head, Rex, Bo Peep. You have voices like Don Rickles. You have um, Wallace Shawn. You have uh, John Ratzenberg, you've got the Jim Varney, um, the lady from uh, Roseanne, or the Connors. What is her name? Uh, what is her name? Uh, they played Jackie, uh, Laurie Metcalf. So you got a little preview in here for Disney stuff. Looks like uh, Disney World to me. 25th anniversary or something like that. A little thing on there of a child on there, like learning to walk and stuff. I remember seeing this. <laughs> At Walt Disney World 25th. I guess this must have been the 25th anniversary when they open. <laughs> that cute little thing meeting Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And you got another one on here. Oh, okay. Um, 101 Dalmatians. But it's the live action one. The one that is not the... Uh... Yep, the one with uh, Jeff Daniels and Glenn Close. I forget the lady that was also in this movie, too. I mean, but this movie was actually pretty good. Yep, I remember watching this in school one time. Uh, somebody brought in, I think, a VHS tape of it, and we watched, like, a good amount of it. I remember laughing at this because I thought it was pretty hilarious. Glenn Close, I thought, did a really, really good job as Cruella DeVille. Jeff Daniels was good, and the other lady, uh... Hey, Siri. Show me the cast to the movie... Show me the cast to the movie 101 Dalmatians. Here are some results I found. Hugh Laurie, Glenn Close, Jeff Daniels, Joely Richardson, Joan Plowright, okay. Mark Williams, Tim McInerney, Hugh Fraser, John Shrapnel, and John Benfield. Yep, so uh, Jolie Richardson, that's the one that I was thinking of. She like married uh, Jeff Daniels in the movie. And Joan Plowright, who I also, I think, was also in the movie uh, Dennis the Menace. Well-known actress. And then on here you got, uh, uh, I think this is Hercules or something like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I did see this movie. I think I saw it in school one time or, can't really remember. 
Man, so you got a lot of previews on here, which is good. I mean... I just um, don't don't really think I've seen this movie a lot. I think I've seen bits and pieces. You know, I do like Disney movies. I just don't watch them a lot. Hearing music on there. I just want to try and be careful a little bit. That. Yep, Hercules, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. And is that it? Oh, that's right. The um, the games, Disney Interactive. Yep. So they got one on here for uh, the Toy Story game. I remember playing this. It was a computer game. I played this at the library. Yeah. Like you do all this stuff on there in this. Yep. The animated storybook. That's right. Yep. All that stuff that you could do on there. I remember playing that. Of course, they did add Toy Story for video game systems as well. They had one for Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, and I believe a Game Boy. Don't think they had, there wasn't one for Nintendo, just the ones I mentioned. And all these games you play. Yep. And there's the uh, video games right there. And, yep, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. I thought they had, like, a PlayStation game of it, too, but I can't remember. That was one of the difficult levels, and that one was, too. I played that several times on my channel. Yep. Never really beat the entire game. And there you go. Oh, and one uh, that was right there they showed on the top, the third one on the top right. And then it should get into the movie... A little thing there for ABC. Oh, this thing. Okay, well, no, we're still not done. Okay. Uh, the, this must be the Mighty Ducks or something. Yeah, that TV show or whatever this was. I don't think I ever watched this. Disney's The Mighty Ducks, ABC Saturday Morning. <laughs> oh, and Doug, nice. Gargoyles. Yeah, Disney's Doug actually was was not bad. I mean, I don't think it was good as the Nickelodeon version of Doug, but I thought it was pretty good. People, you know, say it wasn't, you know, so good, the um, Disney version of Doug. Oh, and you got Pinocchio. Is that Sleeping Beauty? 101 Dalmatians. Cinderella, I guess. Lady and the Tramp. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The Lion King. Beauty and the Beast. The Little Mermaid. Uh huh. Lots of movies on there. Bambi. Oof. A couple of them can't really watch. They're too emotional. I'm sure all of you would agree. Yep. Some of these I haven't really seen in a while. Yep, tons of previews on here. <clears throat> yep, Bambi. But again, too emotional. Coming to video spring 1997. Now what? Another one. <laughs> amazing. Really amazing. Now this one I don't know. Oh, this must be the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I believe it is. Just had to turn down the volume a little bit because of that music. I believe that's what it is. I'm 90% sure. I think I've seen bits and pieces again of this, but uh, 
I can't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure that's what the movie is. Yep. I told you. <laughs> Just had to think about it a little bit. And another one. Oh, this movie. Well, it's not it's not Honey I Shrunk the Kids. It's the other movie, the third one. Honey We Shrunk Ourselves. Yep. Rick Moranis, Stuart Pankin, and some of the cast members from the first two uh Honey I Shrunk the Kids movies did not return for these. Just Rick Moranis did. The other lady, uh... Hey Siri, show me the cast for Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids features Rick Moranis, Matt Frewer, Marcia Strassman, and others. Marcia Strassman, yep, she was not in uh, the third one. Honestly, I didn't really care for this one, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. The first one was pretty good, but I like the second one. Honey, I blew up the kid. People may disagree with that, but I actually thought it was pretty fun. Pretty funny movie, too. That's a pretty funny scene right there when they get on the Hot Wheels car and go through all that uh, jumping and stuff. I thought that was pretty funny. You know, and them in the bubble, and then they fall into the uh, onion dip. <laughs> yeah, that, that was okay. I mean, I remember watching this and recorded, like, some of it. Because I never owned it on VHS. Yep. They figure because the kids were shrunk, you know, in the first film. Then Adam becomes a big kid in the second film. And now they just figured, okay, let's make the parents small then. And now the feature presentation it gets into. And like I said, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves was not really all that great. I don't even think, I don't even think people really cared for Honey, We, Sh I Shrunk the Kids that much. Or Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. But they actually were pretty funny. And then this uh, intro that it gets into, which is this. A little different than the other one. I guess it must have been an anniversary they were celebrating or something. And there you go. And it just gets right into the film. And that's it. Boy, well, that was certainly a, a longer video than the other two. Like I said, third time was a charm. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks again for watching this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Not a bad thing, a good thing. And you all take care, and thanks again for watching.